Welcome to UT Tyler Today, the show that brings the University of Texas at Tyler to you. Here's the host of UT Tyler Today, Jessica Hargrove. Hey, we have a great show lined up today. UT Tyler offers many hands-on classes to prepare our students for the real world. Um, today we're looking at the Mass Communications program. Our guest today is Lynette, a student in the program. Um, welcome. Why did you decide to uh, be a part of the Mass Communications program here at UT Tyler? Well, when I finished my associate's degree at TJC, this is the other closest university, so I decided to just come here and finish my degree here. Oh, okay. How did you like TJC? What did you think of it? It was okay. Um, I like UT Tyler better. It just has a better feel, and I like the campus a lot better. But um, UT, I mean, TJC, it got the job accomplished of getting my associate. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's true. So um, you're doing this to support your family and everything. Uh, right. And uh, I've heard a little bit about your family, and <laughs> but I don't think a lot of people in this class know about it. So can you tell us about how sure. many kids you have and everything? And I have six kids. Um, most people don't know that about me. I just kind of keep it to myself a lot because everybody goes, wow, I can't believe you have six children. Yeah. <laughs> but my oldest is about y'all's age. He's 20. And uh, <laughs> he goes to TJC. And I have an 18-year-old daughter. She's a senior this year. And I have four more kids that actually um, are in junior high and elementary. Oh, nice. So do you feel kind of like you're at home with us? Or like, do you feel like we're kind of like your, your own little <laughs> set of kids or what? <laughs> um, normally, I don't know. I try to look at everybody that's like 18 and older uh, of being an adult. So. Well, uh, we'll talk more about this after the commercial break. Thanks. Don't be one of the millions of people unprepared for the impending zombie apocalypse. I never knew about the serious likelihood of a zombie apocalypse until my friend Sam told me about the zombie apocalypse survival kit. Now I'm ready for a zombie apocalypse any day. Before the zombies eat it, use your brain and buy the zombie apocalypse survival kit. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, welcome back. And we're here with Lynette, and we're we're talking a little bit about her family and everything. And um, she told us that she has some kids our age, and we're kind of talking about that right now. Um, <laughs> so when you're in class with us and you hear all the things that we talk about and everything, does that make you worry a little bit about your kids, or? <laughs> no, I have a pretty good relationship with my older children. Um, we talk about all kinds of things, um, what's going on in their life, drugs, sex girlfriends, boyfriends, all kinds of things. So um, I try to treat them as an equal, the older ones at least. Um, mm -hmm. Once they get to be 18 or 19, they're really adults. So I try not to give them a hard time about living their own life and um, kind of transition into treating them more like a peer instead of a child. That oh. doesn't always work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I try, so. Oh, good. So. Um, you're kind of like the the cool mom in a way but like still yeah. the good mom <laughs> yeah I'm the cool mom and I am the good mom I mean I am the type of parent that will go pick up my child from a party when they're drunk and, <laughs> <laughs> and I am the type of mom that will go take my kids go get piercings and tattoos <laughs> there you go so um, but <laughs> But that's only, I, I do have rules though and boundaries and um, that's only after they're 18 because they're adults anyway. They could move out if they wanted to. So, you know, but they each have a job and pay for their own stuff. So it's just kind of, I don't know. I try to be, um, my minor psychology. So I try to be, is it authoritative? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. try to be an authoritative parent that, you know, takes everything into consideration, so. Yeah. I'm sure a ton of people would want a mom like that because you're kind of like the best of both worlds, I feel like. That's what, they, that's what all their friends say. They're like, you're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I put boundaries up, too. I mean, they have curfews. But the thing is, too, I don't allow my, um, my children actually aren't allowed to get their license till they're 18, and they can't date till they're 18. Oh. So I put the responsibility on them 